Philly tame trainer has something to say about Floyd Mayweather Sr. every time he gets on the mic. This time it was to Jim Rome. Here's the quote. The dad gets so nervous in between rounds, he has trouble getting the words out. He kind of stutters halfway through it and he doesn't really get the information across to the fighter. I mean, I'm really happy he's in the corner because the kid's going to be fighting himself. Uh, he went on to say that Floyd is self-taught and he doesn't really know how to fight the correct way. So he is not only taking shots at the dad, but he's also talking about money. Uh, let's put him on the couch here because mm. Freddie Roach doesn't normally do this, uh, Skip Bayless. No. What do you make of his recent trash talk? Stephen A. Smith, before I answer Kerry's question, I want to remind you, Freddie Roach just got voted the trainer of the year in boxing for the seventh time. He is highly respected in boxing circles, as you well know, and always pays pre-fight respect to his fighter's opponent, except for now. I see two reasons behind Freddie's repeated attacks, not only on Floyd, but on Floyd's father. Number one, I believe that Freddie Roach and Manny Pacquiao legitimately do not like Floyd Mayweather and legitimately do not believe that he's been a good face for boxing. They think he's legitimately a bad guy who has often given boxing a bad name. Number two, I believe that they want Floyd Jr. and Floyd Sr. to know that they truly deeply believe they are going to win this fight. Now you can argue, and I will, that in part they're trying to get inside Floyd's head. They want him to know they are absolutely not for one second afraid of him as all those past opponents have been and that they're trying to get his goat a little bit here to, to actually get him to engage in this fight. They're, they're questioning his manhood and questioning his father as a liability in his corner because they finally, maybe for the first time, want Floyd Mayweather Jr. to engage with them, to attack back, to actually fight, because Manny believes he can out-heart, out-box, and finally out-punch Floyd Mayweather Jr. So my bottom line is, I love this approach from Freddie Roach. I, I believe it will work because I believe it will spark and spur Floyd to fight a little out of character on the night of May 2nd. Well, let me say for the, you know, what may very well shock you is that I agree with you. I think that they do believe they can beat Floyd Mayweather Jr. I, I agree uh, that Freddie Roach has very little respect or affection for the Mayweather camp. I agree with their tactics to try and get inside of Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s head. I've got no problem with it whatsoever because I truly believe in my heart of hearts You've got to try something new because Floyd Mayweather, in terms of verbiage, he's usually on the offensive because he's usually the one who has to be uh, to promote a fight because nobody else is really successful in doing so. And as a result, uh, to, to bring eyeballs and viewers and to have people open their wallets to pay, pay, pay for the pay-per-view fight, because this is probably going to be over $100 to, to buy this fight, uh, the reality is is that it's a tactic by Freddie Roach and Manny Pacquiao that I completely and totally applaud because it's unique against Floyd Mayweather Jr. Nobody else um, has been able to do it. Even the ones who have tried uh, didn't have the cachet to try to pull it off successfully. Freddie Roach has got the mouth to go with his training expertise. He's a guy that can say things that are incredibly piercing to an individual. He can really get under your skin with some of the things that he says, particularly because he's usually accurate in what he's saying. But no human being is flawless. No human being is perfect. And Freddie Roach is obviously another individual that is going to rule the day that he said <laughs> what he's saying about Floyd Mayweather Jr. Really? He will pay a price. Now, I don't want anybody to put their hands on Freddie Roach. He's just talking. He's a trainer. We all know that he suffers uh, from Parkinson's disease. And the reality is the Parkinson's syndrome. And the reality is that when I saw individuals in the past that tried to put their hands on him in a certain way, that really, really bothered me because it's boxing. It's talk. Get over it. It's about the fighters in the ring. And I'm certainly not encouraging anybody in Mayweather's camp or beyond even think about doing something like that to Freddie Roach, nor do I think they will. The only part that I would say about Freddie Roach that was somewhat of a low blow skip is that 
he alluded to Floyd Mayweather Sr. stuttering and all of this other stuff as if he gets nervous or whatever the case may be. I've had the pleasure of speaking to Floyd Mayweather Sr. on several occasions. That's just how he talks. Sometimes it takes him an extra second or two or whatever to collect his thoughts. Just like for whatever reason it takes Freddie Roach some seconds to collect his thoughts. So going that route I think was kind of a low blow completely unnecessary or whatever. You want to say the man doesn't know what he's doing in the corner because you're a trainer. Well, that's fair game. But to talk about him stuttering and stuff like that, sometimes Floyd Mayweather Sr. speaks very fluently. Other times, you know, it, periodically he might stutter in the process of trying to collect his thoughts. It happens to me. It's happened. It happens to a lot of people. Um, and I don't think that there's much to be made for that. I think he's trying to imply something very, very insulting and derogatory that's completely unnecessary. It is boxing. It does happen. But you don't have to go that route because obviously that, then that's tantamount to somebody turning around and going off about Freddie Roach because of Parkinson's. That would be a low blow. That would be very classless on their part as well. So I didn't like that part. But outside of that, I think everything else is fair game. I don't blame them for trying this tactic because obviously many other tactics have been employed in the past and nothing has worked. Nope. So you might as well try something new because F Floyd Mayweather Jr. is 47 and 0. I can understand why Manny Pacquiao and Freddie Roach would feel the need to try and do something differently, but it won't work. All they're going to do is sit there and expose themselves and, 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 and watch as the show gets put on display when Floyd Mayweather Jr. is a magician in the ring picking Manny Pacquiao apart like he stole something. Okay, but they don't want this time for Floyd to be either be able to jab and run, duck and dodge. It's Just boxing skip. It's boxing skip. The fact of the matter is this is not the UFC. It is boxing. Yeah, I would like to see a knockout too. So would you. But the reality is, is that you win fights based on the decision as well. You, the, the objective is to hit without getting hit. And if Floyd is able to pull that off, that's Manny Pacquiao's problem. You knew all of the tendencies of Floyd Mayweather Jr. walking into the fight, and you desperately wanted him badly. So you know what? Figure out how to coax him into doing what you want him to do. If you can't pull it off, that's your problem. Floyd Mayweather Jr. is coming to win the fight. He's not coming to fight the way I, you, nor Manny Pacquiao or Freddie Roach wants him to fight. He's 47 and 0. He's the best pound for pound fighter in the world. He's unblemished in his illustrious career. He's made more money than anybody in boxing history. I think that if Floyd decides to fight the way he chooses to, I don't think myself nor anyone else is in a position to argue about it. We can get on him for not taking the fight. But now that he's taken the fight, as long as he shows up on May 2nd and steps into that ring, there's nothing that we can say. Okay, would you agree with me that all of this back and forth is not designed to hype the fight? It's yes. designed to get inside each other's heads. Like, well, I don't think they I, need to sell this fight. I, I could be not, wrong, that, but... That, 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 well, Floyd tells me everything needs marketing. That's his position. Everything needs marketing. But I will admit to you, with the seven hours that I spent with him on Saturday, I didn't, you know, I've been around Floyd a few times. I didn't get that impression. Mm. This man is serious. He's as serious as he has ever been, uh, even though he ultimately admitted it literally took me hours to get him to admit this is not just another fight because he kept saying this is just another fight. But finally, he sat up there and said, this boy don't know what he got himself into. I'm going to put it on him. You know, he's not playing. And I think that Manny Pacquiao is not playing either. Neither of them, regardless of what they say, I don't think this is hype or anything like that. I think Manny Pacquiao wants to knock Floyd Mayweather out. I think Freddie Roach desperately wants a knockout. And I think that Floyd Mayweather, regardless of him saying Manny Pacquiao is a nice guy, he doesn't hate Manny Pacquiao or anything like that, I think Floyd Mayweather wants to embarrass Manny Pacquiao in the ring. I really believe that. Okay. I, I do hear your point about the low blow, about the not being able to get your words out right. on Floyd Sr.'s part between rounds. That's, right. I That's get not that, right. And I'm, I'm with you on that. But I'm going to remind you, Manny Pacquiao, so we're going back almost five years ago, sued the entire Mayweather camp, including some of the relatives, including Floyd Sr., for accusing him of PED use. 
So the blood was already bad there. So it's like tit for a tat here. It's, it's low blow to low blow. And I, I think Freddie Roach took that personally. And so he mm. is responding in his mind in kind to their low blows, mm. if you're well, with well, me. Well, well, listen, listen. If Manny Pacquiao and Freddie Roach, and, and let me let me throw this caveat here, regardless of what I'm about to say, bottom line is I'm very fond of Manny Pacquiao. I just don't think he's going to beat Floyd Mayweather Jr. But I think he's a wonderful person, and I think he's an absolutely sensational fighter, and he's great for the sport of boxing. I just don't think he's going to win this fight. And Freddie Roach is one of the greatest trainers, if not the greatest trainer of the modern era. You know, the modern-day Angelo Dundee, yep. if you will, Skip Bayless. Yep. I'm not going to take anything away from him there. But let's be clear here. USADA, the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency, is overseeing this fight. Sure. They have carte blanche to test pre and post fight. Both fighters have acquiesced to that. We know who pushed that. That's Floyd Mayweather because it's something that he's been pushing for years. So it's not something that he's bloviating about or just running his mouth and trying to sit there and diss Manny Pacquiao. He clearly, truly believed yeah. that Manny Pacquiao had an edge. He looked at the weight that Manny Pacquiao came from, the fact that he was knocking dudes out, inviting them to hit him and what have you, you know, at one time when, when Floyd and others thought he was juiced. And Floyd's whole mentality, which, by the way, he spoke to in our interview together, he's like, look, we can handle this stuff man to man. He said, but I can't say nothing now because you got cats turning around and suing a brother. So, I mean, well, well, why bother? And those are the kind of things that he's thinking about. So he wasn't playing when he alluded to what he alluded to. Neither did their camp. And you have to remember the strength and conditioning coach who used to work with Manny Pacquiao was hired by Floyd just to keep him away from Pacquiao. So he's not playing. He's definitely serious with what he suspected. And regardless of how much that, off that offends Pacquiao or Freddie Roach, clearly Floyd's not playing. Okay. That's what he thought. Okay, and by the way, he wasn't the only one. A lot of people in boxing felt that, too. They really did. Well, how do we know? I, I didn't hear that. Maybe you heard that whispered, but I don't know that that became public. They made it public. Yeah, they made it public, okay. and he understands that. All right. He understands it, but, but, but what he's saying is that he wasn't doing it for publicity. He wasn't doing it to get under his skin. He was deadly serious, Okay, but which just, is why he's one of some right. just, just to finish this off, just remember, more than two years ago, Manny Pacquiao sat right here next to you right there and said, yep. drug test me day of fight up to the fight. So, yep. so he was ready to do that more than two years ago, just for the record. This water thing thing is not new, this world anti-doping. You know. I know that, yeah. but, but this was five years ago that Floyd was saying that. Yeah. Not two years no. ago. Okay. It was Manny said that after three years of Floyd trying to bring attention to it. Uh, Floyd uh, is 38, Manny Pacquiao 36. Freddie Roach went on to say uh, he wanted to take Floyd out of his comfort zone. Perhaps this is what he is doing.